Hello, hello, everyone. Linda Pellegrino back with you here on Senior Radio Buffalo. We talk about health and wellness, living options, legal and financial, leisure activities, some fun folks around town. But basically, we're an educational radio show dedicated to our senior community. And when something uh, is new and different and happens in the senior community, you're going to hear about it on this show. For example, Absolute Care at Aurora Park, I'm not sure if you know this, is under new ownership. New people have come in. They have a new uh, way of doing things, and they want you to know about it. So let me first introduce Dr. Paul Shields. He's a DO of Great Lakes Health System and General Physician PC, and you are also the new medical director at Aurora Park. So welcome, Dr. Shields. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. And with you, Stacy Bastian, an RN and also administrator, brand new administrator at Aurora Park. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you, Linda. Uh, listen, let's talk to both of you about why you have decided to join. We'll start with Dr. Shields first. Why have you uh, decided to partner with Aurora Park? Uh, so we're, we're looking for high-quality, high-performing facilities that can provide a level of care in the uh, subacute and long-term care nursing space that addresses the entire continuum of care. For the longest time, there have been what is uh, unfortunately referred to as silos in healthcare, the acute care hospital, subacute care, long-term care, and then the community where you, you receive care from your primary care physician. And those silos by, by nature have walls built around them that have impaired communication and throughput and the ability to transition patients efficiently. And what we're looking to do from, from our end, from a health system standpoint, from a community standpoint, is tear down some of those walls and improve the communication so that patients can move efficiently to the least restrictive level of care, whether that be back home or to a long-term setting, to an assisted living facility. And, and our focus is uh, from the hospital standpoint of rather than standing at the hospital in a silo and, and demanding and insisting change within subacute spaces, how do we provide resources to assist them so that, that we can provide an efficient level of care for patients to receive a continuity of care that is streamlined and, and not restarting care at every opportunity that they have a new level of care? And, and at Aurora Park and with Absolute, we've identified a good partner who wants to make changes, who wants to be progressive and innovative in the space, and who wants to focus on the quality of care that a patient receives. The, the driving tenant in the care that my team looks for is patient experience. So we have a full line of sight for all of the other pieces that come out of it, the cost of care, the, the quality metrics, the fact that the payers and insurance companies are looking at. But, but what we believe in, and what we've found in, in our experience of doing this over the last seven years in, in developing comprehensive programs is that if we focus on the patient experience, the rest of the pieces fall in place. And rather than get distracted with multiple metrics, we want to focus on patient experience and how we drive that to be optimal. And we believe that the rest of the metrics will fall in place to improve the healthcare in the space. And Dr. Shields, it's not only you, you're bringing a team with you from General Physician PC. Correct. So we, we bring a team of healthcare providers. Dr. Sarah Mathis is uh, the attending physician. Uh, Lauren Fickett is a uh, PA who is in the facility full time Monday through Friday. We provide a team of caregivers who provide 24 7 call coverage. And our team, which currently is six physicians and nine advanced practice providers, uh, provides care for all of the residents in congregate living, adult living facilities. Uh, 24 hours a day in a dedicated basis. We do not have outpatient practices. We do not have distractions that come from hospital or inpatient work. We focus solely on the facility management of patients. In addition, we bring a care navigator as well as a clinical nurse manager and a practice manager that helps logistically to assure that patients are having scheduled follow-up appointments, uh, resources to specialty care, uh, it, it's a full team approach. Uh, we, we like to say that we bring medical direction, not a medical director. Mm. And uh, just to remind our audience, Absolute Care at Aurora Park, uh, their services and therapies include long-term skilled nursing care, short-term rehabilitation, dialysis, memory care, and complex care needs. It's really a, a wonderful new opportunity for excellence at Absolute Care at Aurora Park. 
Now, Stacey Bastian, you're the new administrator there, and I know you're looking forward to be to bring in a new transparency and a new philosophy uh, with an openness for your your uh, patients and their families. Absolutely, we're so excited. You know, I couldn't be more proud to be the administrator at this facility. Uh, the ownership is committed to excellence. They provide us with tools and resources to promote excellent care and be successful here at the facility. And partnering with Dr. Shields and his team, you know, they provide a support that's second to none um, here on site and available to the staff so that we're, you know, working around the clock, dedicated with the team to assure that the residents are getting the best possible experience and excellent care. And Dr. Shields, it's, it sounds like they couldn't have made a better uh, decision having you on board because I understand with all of your community initiatives and involvement, for example, I know you're on the COVID task force with Kaleida Health. You're the director of the Visiting Nurse Association of Western New York. And all this benefits the residents at Aurora Park. Uh, absolutely. A again, it goes to that tearing down the barriers and improving the communication, allowing the patient's care to move seamlessly from the inpatient setting to the rehab setting and back to the to their community position and, and engage providers. Uh, it, it It is truly an innovative approach, and the fact of having multiple providers, both the inpatient hospitals and the subacute rehabilitation facility like Absolute Aurora Park, partnering together with taking direct ownership and accountability for the success that patients have is the way we'll be successful in transforming the space. Uh, it's innovative in Western New York. It's definitely a new approach and having good partners to, to do the work they do and provide them the support to do it as even better, uh, I think it is gonna show real success in the coming year. Uh, additionally, I serve as, a, as an advisor at ECMC and Kaleida Health through Great Lakes Integrated Health, and we're working at the hospital level to improve the efficiencies to get people to rehab quicker, to get people moving out of the hospital sooner, and, and get to the places that can provide them the excellent care they need. Uh, we know that the hospital is excellent for stabilizing acute illnesses. It is not an ideal setting to begin rehabilitating patients, and frankly, the longer they stay in the hospital, the longer their rehab course so we're focusing on finding good partners that can take these patients quicker and sooner. And the sooner you get to rehab, the sooner you get out of rehab, which is a, a good move for patients. And uh, I think that as we educate the community that this is not an initiative, going to rehab isn't a bad thing. It's a very good thing. And getting out of the hospital sooner is a very good thing. Um, and hopefully we can get the, the public educated to the fact that this is a, a transitory phase. And if we do our job right, your stay in rehab will be brief and will be a one-off. We, we don't want you to have to keep coming back to rehab. We want to do our job so well that you never need to come back, but do it so well that you want to come back. And I know, Stacy, improvements have been made at the facility. So if you are there for rehab, you're going to like what you see with the therapy gym, um, the new improvements for, for the facility, and even employee technology. Absolutely. Our therapy gym is 3,000 square feet, newly remodeled. Uh, with areas in it to promote rehabilitation for individuals with the goal to go home, giving them home-like settings to practice these skills in so that they are successful with their rehab. Um, in addition, we have remodeled some of our units with new flooring, new paint. Um, we've upgraded our technology in the facility for the employees, uh, having new Wi-Fi wiring put in, as well as new computer equipment for, for all the staff in efforts so that they can focus on resident care um, and be efficient with the required documentation. But again, you know, the focus is the resident and being at bedside and helping them with their journey so that they're successful as well. We, we want to thank Stacey Bastian. She is the new administrator at Aurora Park and Dr. Paul Shields, also the new medical director at Absolute Care at Aurora Park. Once again, it's a new opportunity for excellence, and these folks are going after it. It's on Main Street in East Aurora. If you need more information, call them at 652-1560, 852-1560, or online at absolutecare.com.